Hey guys, what's going on? Trevin of here. Um, I'm being a little bit more quieter today because my dad's asleep and I just got home from work. Um, I want to talk to you guys real quick about um, this new channel that my high school has now called BS BCSD Libraries. Um, link will be in the description if you want to check out their videos. I'm just going to react to like maybe one or two videos and get you guys' opinion. Um, I guess this is a channel where they're doing tutorials on how to do stuff. Um, now, though, I don't disagree with that. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great way to show people how to, like, um, do setups for the computers and explain to do more. Um, but I want to um, get your guys' opinion. I've seen this video. Um, I just want to react to it and give you guys my perspective on it. So let's just watch it. It's me, Mike, back with another episode of The More You Know with BHS. What's up, guys? The first thing I'm going to teach you how to use is the collaboration station. First thing what you want to do is you want to go and grab the remote from a library helper assistant or Mr. V. You want to take the remote and turn on the TV just like any other person. And then you want to plug in this cable, which is right here, into this, this port right here. It's called the HDMI port. Plug it in, and you open your Chromebook, and bam, it comes up on your screen. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to do with your friends, it's there. Another tool you can use in the collaboration station is this little adapter right here. You can plug it into any iPhone device above an iPhone 4S. So, what, how this basically works is, you see this. This works with this adapter right here. They basically just plug in together, and you want to screw it in a little bit to make sure it doesn't fall off. If this message just comes up, hit the OK button on the remote. Bam. Yes. And then you plug that into any iPhone 5 or above, and then bam. Your phone displays on top of the screen, as so. Okay, so my opinion, they didn't really explain what you can do with the um, Chromebook being plugged into your TV. Um, you know, he could have been, you know, <clears throat> something along the line of like, all right, so let's take my home screen, for example. He could have been like, um, if you don't want to do duplicate, you know, you could just, you know, right click, display settings, and do extend displays. Preferably, uh, that's what I would do, but I don't like how they didn't show that in case, you know, you want to do one thing and then you want to have another. That's what my, that's what my screens consist of. I do dual monitoring. I have two monitors. Um, I feel like that they should have added that in there that way in case people wanted to um do that for a project um but the one thing i did like was the fact that they added the um the vga cable that goes into the, the adapter to get to your phone i kind of like that i kind of that'd be kind of like kind of cool to do something like that with like friends or whatever if i was like doing a home or somewhere else that's kind of cool but uh, that's just my reaction on one of the videos. If you guys want to check it out, you can. A link will be in the description below. Um, subscribe if you want to. Um, it's usually they usually want people who actually go to bar, my my high school to subscribe. But I'm telling you guys to subscribe. Let's break that stupid rule. And you guys can subscribe if you want to. Ask them for the tutorials. Um, and I'm sure they'll listen to your guys' requests. So. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.